One of the great things about Joomla is the wide range of templates that are available. If you're a designer, you can create your own templates too, or find someone experienced to build a template from your design. The process of creating a template is complex, so I'll not teach this as part of this series. However, let's take a general look at templates and how to find and install new templates. Log into Administrator and go to Extensions Template Manager. You'll see that there are three templates installed and the one that we're using is marked with a star. To change the template, simply click the button on the left of the template name and click the default star in the top right. The default star moves to the newly selected template. Now when you look at the front end of the site, you'll see that it's got a completely different look. Choose the next one and click default again. And once again, the site design has changed. Now you're not limited to these three. There are thousands of Joomla templates available and I've prepared a report of the best Joomla template suppliers that's included in the upgrade of this course. Let's have a look at www.templateworks.net. Click the Templates tab to view the selection. I like the look of Style Type so I'll click that. And then Download it to your computer. This is where you may need to read some installation instructions from the template developer, as everyone has a different way of doing things. In some cases, you need to extract the compressed file that you just downloaded to find the appropriate template file. In other cases, you simply install the file you downloaded and that's what I need to do with this one. Return to Administrator and go to Extensions, Install, Uninstall. Click the Choose File button and navigate to the location of the template zip file you downloaded. Select it and click the Upload File and Install button. Depending on the size of your template and your internet connection speed, this could take some time. Once it's been uploaded, we need to make it the new default. Go to Extensions, Template Manager, click the button here, and then make it the default. Go to your front end to see the results. It may not look exactly the same as the demonstration that you saw from the template developer and this is where you need to refer to the instructions that come with the template to see what changes you need to make to your configuration to produce the best result. Joomla template developers have the ability to include parameters that allow you to change the look and certain functionality of the template. Let's go back to Administrator and I'll switch the default template back to the one that comes with the standard installation of Joomla. Now click on the template title here. Note that there are some options here in the right column. Let's change the colour to red, the background to green, and the template width to medium. Click Apply and preview your front end. The design is now narrower and the colour scheme has changed. Once again, remember that these options may or may not appear depending on how the template has been developed. Back in Lesson 5, I explained the template's included code that tells Joomla where to position your modules. The easiest way to see these positions is to click the Preview button in the Joomla Administrator. This will display the template with the positions on top of your content. This helps you to see the available positions. And that's all there is to installing and configuring a template. There are some great free templates available, 
but there's a much wider selection of commercial templates. And once again, you'll find my recommendations for these in a report supplied with the upgrade version of this course. In the next lesson, I explain how to get the most out of Joomla by using extensions.